गुड मॉर्निंग यू आर वॉचिंग दूरदर्शन न्यूज एंड दिस इज द न्यूज फॉर हेयरिंग इम्पेयर आई एम नैन्सी कोहली एंड विद मी इज मीरा भाटिया लेट्स बिगिन विद द न्यूज इन डिटेल लीडर ऑफ द बालोच रिपब्लिकन पार्टी ब्रह्मगुद्ध बुक्ति हैज थैंक्ड प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी फॉर हिज स्टेटमेंट ऑन बलोचिस्तान एंड रिक्वेस्टेड इंडिया टू रेज द इशू ऑफ ह्यूमन राइट्स वायलेशन एंड सिस्टमैटिक जेनोसाइड बाय द पाकिस्तान आर्मी In a video message posted on his Facebook page he sought India's support. Bukti said Baloch people are struggling for their independence. He said thousands of Baloch youth are tortured in the custody of the Pakistani security forces. In his independence day address on Monday Prime Minister Modi thanked the people of Balochistan, the people of Gilgit and the people of Pakistan occupied Kashmir for the good will they have shown towards the Prime Minister. Prime Minister Narendra Modi lashed out at Pakistan for glorifying terrorists in his Independence Day address, addressing the nation from the ramparts of the Red Fort. The Prime Minister said that those aiding and abetting terrorism will be exposed before the world community. The Prime Minister presented two pictures before the world about the difference between the people who are brought up on the basis of humanity and those inspired by terrorism, appealing to the world to weigh it on a balance. declaring that india will not bow before terrorism the prime minister asked you to return to the mainstream by shunning the path of violence during the independence day speech prime minister narendra modi recounted the economic achievements of the first two years of his government besides giving a glimpse of some of the targets set for the next 3 years the prime minister brought out his idea of india on the 70th independence day focusing on his attempt to take india from swarajya that is self governance to surajya that is good governance prime minister modi underlined his government's mantra of reform perform and transform he also said a strong society is a guarantee for a strong india and a strong society is made by ensuring social justice In Jammu and Kashmir five terrorists were killed in an operation as the army foiled major infiltration bid near the line of control in the Uri sector of North Kashmir's Baramulla district an army spokesperson said the encounter broke out Monday morning after soldiers spotted a group of militants near the line of control in the Uri sector one security officer and two terrorists were killed in an encounter with security forces in Srinagar A police spokesperson said the encounter took place after the militants entered a building. The identity of the slain militants is being ascertained. The operation lasted around 6 hours. Pramod Kumar, commandant of the 49th Battalion of the Central Reserve Police Force, lost his life in the operation. The mortal remains of the commandant have been brought to Mihijam in Jharkhand. Eight other CRPF personnel were also injured in the attack. 769 gold pots valued approximately at 186 crore rupees are missing from the vast treasures found in the Vozu Sri Padmanabh Swami Temple in Kerala. This was published in a report of former Controller and Auditor General of India Vinod Rai submitted to the Supreme Court. The former CAG in his report stresses on the need for a detailed probe into the issue. The missing gold pots weighed around 776 kg. A bench led by Chief Justice of India Justice T.S. Thakur will shortly hear him. The report said 30% of the gold sent for melting and purification was lost. It also said the administrative committee of the temple was weak and suggested a revamp. The price of petrol was cut by 1 rupees a liter and diesel by 2 rupees per liter. This is the fourth reduction in rates since July. Petrol will now cost 60 rupees a liter in Delhi from midnight as compared to 61 rupees a liter currently. The price of diesel will cost 50 rupees per liter as against 52 rupees per liter. The price was last cut to buy rupees by one rupee forty paise a liter in case of petrol, and by two rupees per liter for diesel on the first of August. The current level of international product prices of petrol and diesel and the rupee dollar exchange rate warrant a decrease in the selling price of petrol and diesel. 
India's campaign in women's singles badminton has been kept alive by PV Sindhu's resounding show of domination against Tai Zhu Ying of Chinese Taipei in the round of 16. Playing late on Monday night, the Indian shuttler didn't let a match throughout the match against the world number 8 as she closed out the game with the 21-13, 21-15 scoreline. She is expected to face a much tougher challenge in last eight stage as she will now face world number two Wong Gihan of China. And with that, it's a wrap on this edition of the news. Thanks for being with us.